Good evening, everyone. It is 6 p.m. Thursday evening, so that must mean it's Talking Turkey with Jeanette Martin, brand ambassador for JD Farms. Oh my goodness, I just tripped over my words there. And that's because I'm so excited to share with you this recipe. Um, on last week's show, let's call this a cooking demo show, one of the comments was, hey, can you make a recipe that's low carb and keto? Um, because a lot of people are doing that kind of diets and it's just a great way that if you, you know, want to go starchless for a meal, this definitely will work for you. Um, and I've also done the numbers on this particular recipe that I'll share with you as well. So I can tell you what the net carbs are going to be per serving as well as what the fiber is. So tonight's superstar is I was inspired by the bratwurst. And it's just got really big flavor. So I just want to first of all give you a little bit of product knowledge about our turkey bratwurst. 100% grain fed, raised without antibiotics, gluten free. So you know what guys, you're paying for turkey and spices. Who wants to pay for bread and breadcrumb and fillers? Uh-uh, not going to happen here at JD Farms at any of our sausages. Um, so like I said, no fillers. And the calorie count on um, one piece is 120 calories, and we have two grams of carbohydrate. And where that carbohydrate is coming from, there's a little titch of sugar, not much, and the onion, which it's a naturally occurring then um, sugars. So tonight is our superstar, uh, our turkey bratwurst. And I love a one pot meal. And this meal would be perfect for camping because you'd bring along your JD Farms turkey bratwurst in your, um, your cooler packed on ice. And as you pass a farmer's market, you could pick up all these ingredients, throw them in a Dutch oven and put it on to the fire or in the oven. I've got my oven set at 375 right now getting warm. Um, or you could prep it at home, keep it on ice as well, and throw it on the uh, throw it on your barbecue or on your campfire. So super duper easy. But there's a there's a technique to making this recipe um, taste really well, and everything gets cooked um, according to its density. Um, yes, Veronica, yay keto. Um, so it's all about the how I'm going to show you how I'm going to cut the size of the vegetables that are going in here, as well as the layering of them. So you get each one cooking at its right temperature to ultimate doneness. So today I'm going to be using, you know, I'm a single girl, so I'm just making enough for myself. This is going to be enough for two meals for me. I'm using two of the sausages. Look at the size of them. And you know what? Because there's no fillers in here. They basically say the same size. So I'm just gonna eat one of these uh, for dinner tonight. So two of these. So total that we got four grams of carbohydrate there. And you know what? Let me go through the vegetable, the carbohydrate content and the fiber content and how I'm going to layer it into this, um, into my casserole. I've got the good old Corel that I'm gonna be using. That's my Dutch oven. That's gonna go into my little toaster oven. And so that's enough for my size for two. Hey, and you'll want to stick around to the end of the video because I've got some my little special that I'm going to be telling you. Um, okay, so this recipe has got hard vegetables as well as soft vegetables. So we want to put our hard vegetables on the bottom because the heat is going to be coming up from the bottom and it's going to cook them. So we've got one carrot and if you're on keto and you don't do carrot, but I think a little one little carrot and the good flavor that comes out of it. What, what did I figure out? One carrot is three grams of carbohydrate. Um, that said, um, and also one gram of fiber. So let's get that into the pan. And I'm going to cut it on the angle because I kind of like that cut. Hopefully you guys can see me. I'm going to put my camera down just a smidgey. Um, so probably about a centimeter slice and a nice little angle. We're going to layer that in the bottom because essentially with the carrot, we're creating a bit of a rack. And think about how hard the carrot is. It's going to need more cooking than you'll see some of the other ingredients. So in that goes. How's everybody doing tonight? This is one of my favorite meals. I call it almost my one pot meal or it's way easier than going to get it in the TV dinner and you don't want the ingredients to so go in it. The next secret in keto cooking and low carb cooking is the purple top tomato, uh, tomato uh, turnip. 
not the big yellow and um, or, or yellow and purple one. That is, I think they call that a rutabaga. I always thought that was a turnip growing up, but that's a rutabaga. This is a purple top tuna, uh, turnip. It's much more watery, and I tend to use it a lot where recipes call for potato. Um, so on a purple top turnip, guys, this has got two grams of carbohydrate, and it um, that net that's net because I know you take your um, carbohydrate minus your fibers to get your net and it's got one gram of fiber so I just have pre-peeled it I've just taken off that little bit extra purple at the top and let's give that a, cu a cut and it's a very hard dense uh, vegetable as well so we want it to go in the bottom and you know what that's nature I cut it open I've got a little bit of brown in there I don't want to eat that of course so let's just cut that away you just never can tell with vegetables when you buy them on the outside they look fantastic so now we're even going to have a little bit less carbs of course because i've got less turnip now so let's cut this one similar to the carrot but i don't want it to look like the carrot because i want a little bit extra texture and some fun looks on my meat um, on my plate so and that's going to go at the bottom as well Again, it's a very hard, very similar um, density as a carrot. So as you can see, we're starting to build our base. And the next one that we're going to use is an onion. This is a medium um, yellow cooking onion. And we take a look. This nets out at three grams of carbohydrate and one gram of fiber. And I want to cut this one again, about like the turnip. And it's a harder densi um, density as a vegetable when i leave it like this if i were to break it up of course it's going to be thinner and i would put it near the top but i want it as my base snuggling it all in there there's a bounty of vegetables so you can think so far you can get carrots at the farmer's market you can get the purple top turnips you got onions going in there the next ingredient is oh, i love cabbage cabbage is such a good bulking food it fills you up it's really good for gut bacteria and right now cabbages are starting to come out um if you didn't have cabbage you could definitely use little brussels sprouts um with that i'm going to use a half a cabbage so i did actually for the whole thing the whole little cabbage that i had so if you saw you know the size of my hand so you can kind of see the size of what my cabbage is um was five grams of carbohydrate so we're only about say two grams of carbohydrate on this cutting it in quarters and going pretty close to the stem but i'm leaving a little bit of that stem because i want this to stay together okay going really close to the stem because again it's going to be plate presentation i'm going to wiggle this in and if you can kind of think of the flavors as this is cooking the carrot is going to uh, waft up a nice sweet flavor. That onion is a strong flavor. That turnip is a strong flavor. And the cabbage is a strong flavor. So those flavors are going to come up into the lighter flavored vegetables that I'm going to pile on top. So I have a little bit of red pepper. You could use yellow pepper, orange pepper, green pepper, um, what you want. This amount, what did I figure this was out? This is one gram of carbohydrate and um, basically one gram of fiber as well some color and that's also what you want to do great vitamin c too just sprinkling that on the top peppers are out right now okay i've got a little piece it's about of a third of a zucchini and i looked that up what did i see my zucchini was i think like this is one gram of carbohydrate it's a very soft vegetable so i do want to keep it pretty big because it's gonna cook quicker and it's going on the top. So I'm just gonna bring my little Dutch oven or my faux Dutch oven back over. So I'd say about two centimeter slices on that. Okay, so we got it. See, we're now building this up. We're building a braise. The next, we have a mixture of green beans and yellow beans. We are at four grams of carbohydrate and one gram of fiber. Beans right now are fantastic. There's nothing better than going into the garden and picking a fresh bean and eating it. And being that these are smaller and softer, we want to put those on the top. Okay? Because they're going to cook quicker. And we basically want to steam those, not really braise them underneath. See this bounty? Like, look at the bounty of the vegetables in there. And the colors. So that's good there. 
going to nestle in at the top our two frozen bratwurst. Just kind of nestle them in, make sure they kind of get in. And we want them kind of in the center. Give my hands a little bit of a wipe. Because the flavors of JD Farms, of that onion and spices that JD Farms has put into their sausage, I want that to cook out and kind of drip down into my vegetables. Okay. Let's throw some good healthy garlic in there. And hopefully you guys can see me. I've taught you this before. I'm going to leave my garlic whole, but an easy way to, uh, to get skin off of garlic, knife blade that way. Just tap your knife and the skin pops out and I'm just going to plunk that right in there. I'm not going to chop it up because this is going to cook for probably 45 minutes um, because of all those hard root vegetables that are at the bottom. Okay, in that goes and nestle that in there. So, oh, big bounty. Nice and quick. Normally I'd be done this by now, but I'm chitty chatting while I'm talking to you. Um, so some of our seasoning that we're going to put on top of here, as well as the garlic kind of tucked in there. Look at that, guys. Oh, my gosh. Look good. Let's give it a good, healthy dose of pepper. Nice, fresh grating of pepper. I simply love the JD Farms seasoning mix. It's a good rub. It's got great spices and seasonings in. If we take a look at this, it's got one gram of carbohydrate for... And four calories so basically it's a free food and it's a delicious food so let's take a level teaspoon of that and just give everybody a little bit of a zhuzh a zhuzh is a fancy word for a sprinkle in a culinary world um i'm going to use i love epicure spices i do know jd farms has got a fantastic um rosemary that you can buy on online this is what i happen to have this is rosemary and garlic you kind of go on jeanette you got fresh garlic in there now you're putting some more garlic you can never have too much garlic also this is just going to impart a little bit different flavor so let's take about a quarter no about a half a teaspoon of that and rosemary and turkey and cabbage and those it's such a good um, herb it's a very hard herb so it's going to withstand a lot of braising to get the flavors out of it and i have um, I always have on hand like a chicken bouillon, a really good one that has no MSG, very, very low sodium. I don't even think this one has any sodium in it um, on hand so I can make a quick braising liquid. Uh, what we have at JD Farms, which is fantastic to keep in your freezer, we do broths um, that you could defrost and use one of the turkey broths on this as well. So I just mixed up um, a cup of the turkey um, broth. I'm pouring it on the top. And you're like, a cup, is that all you're going to need? Absolutely. And that's because if you think about the vegetables that are low, um, like are low carb, they tend to be very water. They have a lot of water content. So as this is slowly roasting and kind of steaming, it's going to add some more liquid in there. I don't want a lot of liquid in there because then things get a little soggy. So basically, guys, I throw the lid on. Put it in my little convection toaster oven, or this is the point that if you made it into a nice little Dutch oven and throw it onto the campfire. Um, I'm gonna test this by taking my knife in about 40 minutes, and I'll kinda pick and I'll poke and I'll go, yeah, my cabbage is nice, for tender. I'm gonna dig down and kinda poke through to a carrot to see that it comes out. And I'll let it cool before I eat it, cause it'll be really stinking hot. Um, and then serve it up in a nice dish you could put for low carb, um, a nice dollop of sour cream on there. Make sure it's a full fat sour cream. Um, and sour cream is good for us because, of course, it's a fermented food and it makes dairy a lot easier to uh, digest. You could do a Greek yogurt on top of this. Um, I like to do a nice big, um, uh, a big squeeze of a good Dijon mustard on the side. Uh, so that's my, my braise. And it's super easy and it's very heavy. Easy to make. And it total nets out, so this is like I said, two servings. We are at nine grams of carbohydrate a serving, and we're at five grams of fiber. So that's nine net, okay, and five before, and do the math. So we'll do the math in reverse, that'd be like 14 grams total of carbohydrate. You could leave out some, some of the vegetables, bump up maybe some of those lower carb vegetables in there. I just like that carrot in there, because it gives it a little bit of that sweetness to steam up into kind of those... Um, tangy vegetables so the cabbage and the um 
in the uh, turnip. Okay, so those of you that stuck around with me, and those of you that are watching this on the replay, I want to I want to make sure that people are watching and having fun with me because you know what? If you're not having fun in life, why show up? So um, I talked to Jason and um, I said, "Hey, Jason." How about for the next four Talking Turkey demos, we give something away so people can come into the store and buy some of the ingredients. And he's like, okay, Jeanette, let's do it. So from now till the next Talking Turkey, I'd love for you to watch it and in the comments, throw the little turkey symbol, hopefully on everybody's emojis screens, um, you can find the little turkey symbol Throw it in the comments, and I'm going to take everybody's names, randomly draw, and I'm going to send you a $20 gift card. And I don't mind if you are anywhere in the world, because you know what? You may want to tell me when I notify you to give it to someone locally, or you might want to sneak it in as a Christmas present. So, hey, I thank you so much for tuning in with me tonight on Talking Turkey with Brand Ambassador Jeanette Martin. I do hope you make this recipe. It's super simple, very healthful, good fiber, celebrates the bounty of our farmers right now, um, and just have a really great weekend. So remember to find that turkey in your emojis and throw it into the comments. Uh, from my home kitchen in South Langley, I wish you God bless. From the JD Farms family of Jack and Jason and Marilyn and Jennifer and all their family and friends and kids and our, our incredible people that work in our and our bistro and all our retailers as well. We want you to continue to be kind, continue to be safe, be calm, get in the kitchen and make some JD Farms amazing recipes. Thank you so much for tuning along and see us next Thursday when I award the winner of our $20 gift card. Enjoy the night, everybody.